Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how we can turn a recycler view into a checklist. So on our Pokemon app I have this recycler view here and I've added a checkbox to each one of the items. When you check the checkbox you can then press this Pokeball icon here and it will show a toast message with the amount of Pokemon that has been checked. You can then uncheck them and that will then remove it from the list of check Pokemon and it will just show zero Pokemon have been checked. So in order to get started you first need to add a checkbox into your uh, recycler view item. So I've added this checkbox here in the layout and it's just a simple checkbox uh, with, width, with width and height set wrap content and the constraints set correctly as well and just make sure you give it an ID. In the recycler view, first off I've added a function um, just called get checked Pokemon count and this will return the count of all of the checked Pokemon and this is just returning the size of a list which will contain all of our checked Pokemon. I've defined the list up here and that's a mutable list so we can add or remove um, items from this list. And now to set up the checkbox, first we're going to define a listener listener is going to receive um, the updates for the Pokemon list, whether an item has been removed or not, and the actual item itself. So this interface I'm going to call checked listener. And this is going to have one function, which will be called list update. This will take an item, which will be custom Pokemon list item, and a Boolean value, which will be is checked. And now we need to create an instance of our checked listener. So we can call this private val. checked listener and this is going to equal object checked listener and we open the brackets and then we can implement that function. So in this function first we're going to check if the Pokemon list, so checked Pokemon list, does not contain the item and is checked is true, then we'll add the Pokemon to the list. And then we will return out of this function. And if that condition isn't met, we know that we need to remove the Pokemon from the list, which will be checked Pokemon dot remove. custom op item and that is the function so now we so now what we need to do is provide this function to our view holder so in our view holder in the bind function this function gets called when every um, recycler view item is created I'm going to add another parameter which will be checked listener and now I'm going to provide it in the um, on bind view holder, so that will be checked listener. And now we're going to set up the chat box. So this will be binding dot chat box dot set on checked change listener. And I'm going to replace this with is checked. And all we do now is just send an update to that listener. So checked listener dot list update, pass in the item, and then pass in the is checked value. So this set on checked change listener will be called every single time there is an update to this chat box. And then we would just deliver it to our checked listener. So now that's been done, we can go back to the list fragment. And we can see here that when 
the list fragment saved fab is clicked, we then execute the get checked Pokemon count function, get the count from that function, and then make a toast message. And the list fragment saved fab is the Pokeball icon. So I'm going to reload the app now and just make sure that everything is working. Right, so the app is now running and we can see the chat box in our recycler view. So if I click two of these items and then click the Pokeball, we can see that we have two Pokemon have been checked. And then if I uncheck one, it says one Pokemon have been checked. And then if I unclick them all, then it says zero. So we can see that is now working correctly. And this is how you can get access to all of the checked items in your recycler view and have it update when one of them gets removed and one of them gets added. So that will be it for this video guys. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.